Hey y'all, my name is Seiko, and much like every other child growing up, Disney was, Disney movies were a huge part of my childhood. If there's one thing that Disney taught me is to wish upon the stars, especially shooting stars, if you really want something to happen. We all fall victim to wishful thinking about our futures, whether it be about something big or small. Um, can anyone truthfully say that they have not wished that the coronavirus would go away? <laughs> Um, in the past six months, wishful thinking has taken over my thoughts almost every day when discussing the pandemic and what it's taken away from our lives. Although we may not be happy with our current situations, um, we must think about how this is not uh, a positive way to think about our daily lives, and we must reflect upon that. Um, falling into this habit begins to uh, make us carelessly think and wish about just anything without thinking about its consequences that can come about. Um, in my own life and in a short fictional story, you can find examples of uh, why you should not care carelessly wish for change without thinking about the consequences. Um, first, I will tell a story about an Aesop fable called The Old Man in Death. Uh, that's like consequences on wishing carelessly. Uh, then I'll explain a situation that happened in my life that I learned a similar lesson. Uh, Aesop's story, The Old Man in Death, is a short and simple fable that's really not popularly told, but um, it provides an easy to explain and understandable uh, lesson to its audience. Um, it's a retold story of a man who wishes for death um, to come upon him because he is so exhausted from his life that he lives because he cuts wood for a living and then carries the city every single day to sell for money. And that's his, that's his way that he makes a living. But the journey from the woods to the city is extremely long. He needs to carry the wood on his back. And the more he can carry to the city, obviously, the more money he can make. One day, he becomes very weary of his very long journey. Now, it's required of him to transport the wood to the city. So he decides to step down the wood and just wishes for death to come upon him. And unfortunately, this happens. Um, death, in skeleton form, comes out of wood, approaches him, and is like, you called for me. You asked for me to come upon you. What can I do for you? Immediately, of course, he's like, oh my gosh, no. I didn't mean it. I regret it. That's not what I meant. Can you just help me carry your sticks to the city so I can make money for my family? Um, now, whether that story may be true or not, we may never know. Um, but I definitely have a personal story that is. So everything was, everyone wishes for things often, whether they be about a person, an item, an experience, an event. So um, we, February, beginning of March, I began to hear rumors about the uh, Corona coronavirus coming to the U.S. and that possibly school would be let out for a little bit of time because of this. And of course, um, me and my friends heard these rumors and we were like, oh my gosh, I hope so. Like, I want, it's senior year, let's get out of school, have more free time, we can hang out and have less school. Obviously now, this wish did come true, unfortunately, and the outcome of this was much different than I expected it to be. Um, I lost the ability to have the end of my senior year. I never had a senior lacrosse season. I have never had a last day of class, a graduation, and so much more experiences that I missed out on. I'm very regretful of the wish that I made since I can now see the outcome of what I carelessly wished upon. Even though I obviously have no control over the future, I can't help but be filled with regret and guilt over what I wished for without thinking about the consequences. Um, both for Aesop Fable and my personal experience, we, it shows how we all fall victim to just carelessly wishing like, oh, I wish this would happen, I just wish this would happen, I wish coronavirus would go away, I wish school was normal again, without thinking about the consequences that could possibly happen, positive or negative. Um, I hope you had taken away a piece of insight from what I've talked about today, and hopefully you can start to maybe think about how often you do this to yourself and it's, you'll really start to realize that it's more often than you really believe. Um, so next time you find yourself just wanting and wishing and waiting for something to happen, just think about how you never know what the possible outcome is. Thank you. Any questions? <laughs>